Agora eu faço live na Twitch TV. Primeiro link na descrição. Só vem. Ok, chat. Vamos ver esse vídeo aqui, então? Eu quero ver esse vídeo sobre a Neira. Eu nunca cheguei a ver a fundo esse, esse bagulho dela. Dela se e tudo mais. Porque ela se, tor ela se tornou real muito... A galera, tipo, od odeia ela, tá ligado? Depois que ela fez essa porra. How Nadia became the most hated girl on Twitch. Nadia Amine is one of the fa Nadia Amine is one of the fastest growing streamers Twitch has seen in a very long time. She went from 50,000 followers to over half a million in just two months. However, her popularity is a direct result of a major cheating scandal. The video game community is accusing Nadia of cheating at Call of Duty Warzone, which is the game she has spent 3,000 hours streaming. Cheating is a cardinal sin for gamers. Not only that, but Twitch and Call of Duty make it very clear that cheaters will be banned. This scandal has led to some major backlash towards Nadia, but instead of folding to the pressure, she is leaning in, becoming the villain, and using the scandal as a marketing campaign for her social media platforms. And it's working. So this begs the question, is she actually cheating? Well, it's complicated. There are a lot of clips in her gameplay that look very unnatural. In this clip, her point of aim seems to jump to the target with speed and accuracy that is not humanly possible. She's shooting at the guy on the right and then it kind of glitches over to the left. And when Nadia was asked to address this clip, this was her response. And is this something you've, you've seen or like heard about before? Yeah. This, this is, is like, like a, frame a frame glitch, glitch and I've seen it multiple times on different like streams. I mean, there's a guy who made a TikTok about it saying that he doesn't cheat and this happens to him. So, yeah. Can you explain like what exactly went down here? No. Like, it's just like a frame glitch. I have no idea like how this happens. She doesn't really say much. She just says it was a glitch. And honestly, she could be right. Her exposers use this clip and others to say that she has some sort of aimbot, which is essentially a hack that you can install into your game that will automatically lock onto an enemy when you just kind of generally aim in the direction of one. Like in this clip where it seems as if she is going to try and kill the enemy parachuting down from above, then she locks onto a totally different enemy that isn't even visible on the screen. There are also moments when she is shooting at walls for seemingly no reason and then there is conveniently an enemy on the other side of the wall Caralho. suggesting that she has some kind of wall hack walls or a cheat walls that allows fast. her to see through walls but when she was asked about this clip people did not like her response how would you explain this to me we'll watch it slow motion as well um i feel like there's just like no information though like it cut the clip really short people were saying that in this interview she was looking very nervous or like she got caught that she seemingly did not know how to respond to the allegations Maybe panic was setting in, but in her TikToks, she's extremely confident. Her attitude is entirely different. I am the number one best Call of Duty player, and this clip right here is the reason why. However, the world would find out if she was really cheating or not when she left the comfort of her own home and played at the Call of Duty Next showcase, which was a LAN event. I will tell you who is cheating. Me. Because how did I put my shoe underwater in this pond and my foot didn't get wet at all? Okay, I'll admit I'm not cheating. I'm wearing vessies. Snow, rain, sleet, hail, slush, mud, whatever the weather conditions, Vessi can handle it. Obviously, you'll never dip your foot entirely underwater for no reason, but it shows you how waterproof they really are. Their shoes are made of Dymatex, a dual climate knit material that keeps you cool in the summer and warm in colder weather. On top of that, they are lightweight and exceptionally comfortable. I hate the feeling of wanting to wear a nice pair of shoes but choose not to because it might rain or it is raining now these black chelsea boots are my go-to's for a night out with my girlfriend no matter the weather so you can go ahead and hit the rainy sidewalk in your weekend chelsea boot while heading to that evening dinner things. party the weather can no longer Wait stop check them out in the link below vessi.com slash patrick for your pair of Vessi shoes. Thanks, Vessi. LAN stands for Local Area Network. This is essentially a promotional event where streamers get together in the physical world and play the game under near-perfect conditions. The participants play on computers provided by and set up by the event organizers. So if you have cheats on your computer at home, you won't have them at the LAN event. Before the event started, which all of the streamers stream live to obviously give the game promotion, she told her chat this. I was setting up TikTok and Twitch for like the entire time. So if you guys see me play like dog sh it's because one, I haven't played at all. I, I have not touched the
A lot of people thought it was weird that she would say this, as if she is almost preemptively making an excuse that her gameplay would not be as good because she doesn't have her cheats. Throughout the event, her aim seemed to be generally much worse than when she's at home playing on her own computer. But this still doesn't really answer the question if she was cheating or not. I mean, everybody does have a bad game. She could have been nervous or genuinely rusty from not practicing up until the event. It was really her attitude towards the backlash that convinced everyone that she was guilty of cheating. This is an announcement to everyone who keeps writing mean things about me and saying that I'm cheating. I just wanted to say I'm sorry and I understand your frustration. I wouldn't know how to react as well if I was extremely insecure and dog shit at a video game. And then on top of that, seeing a woman do better than me, it is a hard reality to accept. But just breathe in and understand that I am better and that you will never be making clips like this. Nadia turned her controversy into a big marketing campaign. Basically every TikTok she posts starts with her baiting the viewer into thinking that she will address the cheating allegations. But then instead of addressing the cheating, she just tells people to watch her live or comment on this TikTok clip. This is the clip that exposed me for hacking. There's a rumor going around that I'm not allowed to play in tournaments because I'm cheating. To all the people who still claim I am hacking, I am live right now showing all of my monitors while I play. A lot of people have been saying I'm using a foot pedal to enable my aimbot. So I am live right now doing a foot camera. My account just got banned by call of duty now i have no choice but to cut the act and tell the truth i am hacking that was cut off what i was what? going to say is i'm having a new account made for me it's time to address the cheating allegations now this is for all the boys who keep commenting that i'm using a corona sen walls aimbot i do have something to admit to you guys that I am a thousand times better than you, and you guys cannot accept that a girl can just be good at video games. She understands that most people want to see her get exposed. She leans into being like a villain, know, doubling down, them. claiming she is the best female COD player in the world. She is using that to get more engagement, more followers, more subscribers, and ultimately, more money. Even Ninja called her a marketing genius for leaning into the cheating. Thoughts on Nadia. I think she's a freaking marketing genius. She's leaning into the whole cheating thing. And there are a shitload of people, aka just men who are freaking that loud and getting her an incredible amount of attention, posting every single time they kill her. It's working flawlessly. Before this controversy, her TikToks would average 10K to 50K views, and she would stream to an average of less than 200 viewers. Once she started baiting people with the controversial intros, she exploded up to half a million followers on Twitch, streaming to an average of 4,500 viewers. To all the people who still claim I am hacking, I am live right now showing all of my monitors while I play. Now sometimes she actually puts an additional camera on her setup to prove that she doesn't use any cheats, but the commenters will say she is using a VPN to get into bot lobbies, which are essentially games where you play against other people that are not even close to your skill level, which is something that other streamers do to essentially make themselves look better at the game. God, Basically, no matter what she does, no matter how much proof she tries to provide, the naysayers Sayers will figure out a way to justify in their minds that she is cheating. But maybe she is in fact cheating. And if she is, why hasn't she been banned from Call of Duty? People are banned for using cheats every single day. Even streamers have been banned in the past. For example, Mr. Golds was found to be cheating and was promptly banned from Warzone and even had his Twitch channel suspended because of it. In March of this year, the official Call of Duty Twitter account tweeted this. 90,000 accounts were removed in ban waves this week. 90,000 in one week. So they certainly have the capability to identify cheaters and get them off the game. If Nadia is so blatantly cheating, as many people think, why wouldn't she be banned? Especially being someone who is likely much more high profile than anyone caught in that 90,000 ban wave. Could Call of Duty be turning a blind eye to Nadia because of the value she brings to the game? Having 4,000 people watch her play the game on Twitch, getting millions of impressions on TikTok, and YouTubers making videos calling her out is all free advertising for Warzone. Keeping people talking about her and their game, even with the negative connotations, is generally good for them. If she is cheating, this would also break the Twitch community guidelines. Video games' initial success and long-term retention of the player base is somewhat reliant on Twitch these days. Before playing a new game, many people will go over to Twitch to get a closer look at the gameplay before downloading it and trying it themselves. So if Nadia was proven to be cheating, and was banned by Call of Duty, then she would also be proven to have broken Twitch's community guidelines, which should lead to a ban there as well. But that didn't happen. So either Twitch doesn't want to suspend her because she's about to make them a ton of money and they are currently in hot water, and Call of Duty doesn't want to ban her because of all the free promotion she's bringing to the game. Or simply, they are not banning her because they already looked into it and she isn't cheating.
However, whether she is cheating or not, Nadia is not living up to her original mission of changing the stigma against female gamers. In addition to the doubts people had of me being a female, I hope that women will look up to me and believe they can do the same without the stigmas that they aren't good enough. It's no secret that gaming is a male-dominated industry. Twitch streamers and influencers have worked hard to reduce the stigma against female gamers, that they are not good or don't belong in the community. Nadia being successful is probably inspirational for female gamers, but if she is actually cheating, then she is disrespecting all other female gamers by bragging about being the best female Warzone player. This clip right here proves why I am the best female Warzone player. If she is not cheating, then leaning into it and attaching herself to the scandal perpetuates this narrative that gamer girls are more likely to be cheaters. Now to be fair, the community is going extra hard on exposing her. This guy Bad Boy Beeman's whole channel is dedicated to exposing cheaters in video games, men and women, but the videos on Nadia get the most views, and he once uploaded 7 videos in a row just on her. Now we can't hold Nadia accountable for the reaction of the gaming community, God, no matter how shitting, toxic bitch. they are. God, However, are we can't really feel what bad for this? her when she is constantly baiting people on the internet and leaning into the controversy. I mean, even if Call of Duty themselves made a statement that they looked into the situation and confirmed that Nadia is not a cheater, nobody would believe it. They would think that Call of Duty and Nadia are in some sort of cahoots together. The damage has already been done. She will forever be known as this. So I guess I don't blame her for just trying to capitalize on the moment.